it No gunshots, but they getting Hey, what's up you guys? Craft Farms here, back again with another video. And today we're going to be back on the Big Bear Ranch multiplayer server. Uh, I'm sure you guys are probably getting sick of this server, but... Uh, it's the easiest for me to record. Um, right now, I am uh, still away from home. So, I don't have my steering wheel. And I also forgot to pack my mouse... So, I do not have that right now, either. Um, so, we're in the midst of chopping corn. Uh, I was doing this the other night as well. But, um... Um... Let's see here. Um, yeah, so we're going to work on chopping, I guess, and, um, yeah. Yeah, there are spots of this field that are withered, so we'll just have to kind of work around those, I guess. But, uh, yeah, so I was on here a couple nights ago, uh, I think Saturday night it was, and uh, there were two other guys on. Uh, the one guy, he left after a little while, he was working on tillage, and then he left when he finished that. And then uh, I stayed on and I was helping the other guy. We were working on this. Um, I was running the CT660 alongside of uh, the chopper here pulling this trailer. So, yeah. Um, so we're just going to kind of continue on here. We're going to open this up a little bit and then I think uh, we'll use auto combine maybe. That or follow me mod or something, I don't know, we'll see. Heard a car going off. <clears throat> yeah, so uh, if you guys haven't seen already, uh, Joe released. Uh, Joe Lindbergh or Lynn JB Modding released his uh, Case IH Patriot 4440 sprayer. Uh, it's on Mod Hoster. Very, very nice. Um, super cool that he released it. Uh, the reason why isn't that cool, but uh, what can you do, I guess? Then I think uh, the plan is to start selling the grain uh, after the silage is done, and there is plenty of it. Um, 1.4 million liters of corn and nearly half a million of soybean, so pretty good amounts of crop.
Was she wearing my boots? <laughs> so yeah, there will definitely be a lot of uh, selling of uh, grain to haul but with two semis and uh, set up we have one set of hopper trailers right now and I would think that they're probably going to either buy or rent another set I'm not positive on that but would think that's the idea and uh, it was funny the other night when I was on here um, came on and said what needs to be done and um, said you know you want to help me chop corn so I hopped in the he said you know use the CT660 so I hopped in that and it was stuck in the mud so the chopper came down and uh, got me unstuck ended up getting the chopper stuck and then I went in to try and push the chopper out and chopper came unstuck and the CT660 got stuck again so then we finally got it out after a little while and uh, was glad to have that out and then we got started on some chopping and we got Three loads hauled uh, before I jumped off the server, and then um, don't know if they got any more hauled. It doesn't look like it. it doesn't look like there's much corn chopped uh, from where I left. I was going to get on again, but uh, ended up leaving and didn't get a chance to do that. And back up here a little bit. out and unhook this guy and we'll hop in the CT660 here and uh, we'll go grab the trailer and head to the pit So yeah, it is Monday today, and uh, getting this recorded and edited and uploaded for you guys today. Get rid of that, I guess. Definitely is weird not using the steering wheel. I haven't played without it in forever. I'm trying to not drive over the corner. Yeah, then uh, we're shopping and we had brought the uh, T800 high hood out and then another trailer and we were going to use that as well and uh, that was before the other guy left and uh, we had it sitting at the end of the field and we filled this truck I said should we just fill the other truck and then we can both take the trucks back or should I go dump and come back and we decided just to fill the other truck and then we'd both take uh, these both the semis back and um, so we did that and um, I ended up tipping the other truck over on accident I took the corner a little wide and uh, in the field actually even and I ended up tipping over but uh, whoa the collisions on the trailer uh, were messing with the collisions on the truck so uh, that was why it tipped over you can see all the mud there that's where we were stuck
Yeah, he, uh, it's not on the server yet, but uh, this truck's actually been updated again. Uh, the boss man added steerable tag axle to the truck, uh, similar to how uh, Joe has his set up. And uh, looks really nice. Looks like it helped a lot with the steering. So there's the uh, other trailer. We don't need it, so it's just sitting there. See, so, yep, no, they haven't done a whole lot more, or any more, really. Uh, just took the trucks to the field and started on chopping a little bit. Uh, so this is a 3 million liter bunker here with really awesome fill plane. Uh, so we have six more loads. Um, or no. Um, a lot more loads. I don't know what it is. Something in this farmyard here. Hmm. Anyhow. Uh, yeah, so we got a lot more corn to go before that thing's full. I don't know why. Hmm. I don't know if it's that bunker or... What? Let's rejoin here. Because this is going to get annoying. Okay, so we'll rejoin here. So we'll wait for it to load here. And uh, in the meantime, you can look. Um, saw that there was a new thing on here. Oh, a couple of new things. This is new. Uh, John Deere R4045 sprayer. But uh, the thing I was looking at was this 568. Uh, round baler, which is pretty neat. So I might have to uh, check out some new models, but need to finish the ones that I have first. Oh, it must be loading now. There we go. <laughs> All right, so let's hop back in the truck now. This truck does not like this spot at all. Definitely have to go at an angle. Jake brake turned on. <clears throat> so they have uh, harvest all finished up now. Just tillage and chopping corn at the moment.
So yeah, the uh, neighbors are kind enough to let us uh, drive through here. I'm not sure, maybe it is our property, I guess, but uh, not 100%. Little group of uh, animals there. So I think we'll just continue with uh, pulling the trailer behind the chopper. It's the easiest, I guess. Then we don't have to worry about follow me mod uh, damaging anything either. See, now that I think about it, uh, don't think that we'll actually be filling that bunker. Uh, that would take a few hundred loads. <laughs> and uh, that'd be a lot of silage. Not sure how many cattle they're planning on buying either. Um, I know the trailer that... One of the trailers that's on here holds a hundred uh, animals. Or... Yeah, 100, and um, so that's the biggest trailer we have, I think. I think we have two of them, maybe, or something like that, but uh, yeah, definitely some big trailers. off of one pass which isn't too bad um, nutrients aren't that bad either on here and now we're running neutral pH 71% moisture 3 and 2 so pretty good be getting just about the most yield that we can. This corn texture looks good for chopping. 
but uh, not the best for combining. I could consider it uh, high moisture corn, I guess, but somebody actually pointed that out on the last video as well. But it was a little green for combining. So, well, maybe it's just high moisture or something. We're just going to cut this off so it's straight. And a nice straight even passes. And pick all of this up. Six minutes, I think. We'll uh, just fill this trailer and call it a video. And I won't dump it just in case uh, it lags out again. So I guess I'll just start the outro. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. Uh, if you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Make sure to make sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Make sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. Check out down below in the description for my PC specs, my video schedule, links to my social medias, my mod site, and other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.